evening. My name is George Bullard III, and I'm going to outline the method in which a file directory tree is created. Now forgive me if I stutter. It's been, a, been quite a day, but I hope that you all get something from this, and I hope that you all will make yourself I hope that you all will learn from this, and I hope that you will gain a better understanding of how to use Windows. Are you ready? Let's begin. Now, as you can see, I have an empty folder. It's called ESD, and um, this is ESD for my own personal reason. Well, I'm using Windows 8.1 latest um, edition. It's kind of most, it's pretty much the simplest thing in the world to create a um, file directory tree. First, what I'm going to do is right click here, anywhere in this little field, and I'm going to go scroll down to new here, and I'm going to shift over to folder, and I'm going to left click here. Now, as you can see, there's a field where I can name the folder anything I want. I'm going to call it this is a demonstration. I'm just going to call it Big Bucks. B I G Bucks. As you can see, the folder Big Bucks has been created. Now, to open this is a simple matter of double clicking. Now, as you can see, the Big Bucks folder is empty. As you can see, the Big Bucks folder is a subfolder of ESD, which is a folder within the local disk. You see? Now, I'm going to click over here to get up out of the um, Big Bucks folder. Like so. And you can see the Big Bucks folder is pretty much closed. And so, a file directory tree is created. But what if I want to expand it? That's the big million dollar question. Well, all you have to do is click down here. And scroll down, right click down here. Scroll down to new. And go up to folder again. And I'm going to create another folder here called Little Bucks. Now keep in mind, there's, there's not really um, a big reason to, uh, you know, create these folders. This is just something that I need to do, you know, just for a demonstration. And I can put any kind of file in there. But it's just a matter of what file I want to put in there. Maybe a presentation or something like this. Well, I'm going to double click it again. And as you can see, the little box folder is empty. What I can do is right click here, scroll down to new, go down to folder, and type in the username here, little, sorry, typo, change. And I press enter. Note that I um, press enter every time I type it in just to confirm the name. Now, if I want to delete this, this is a basic um, matter of either click, right clicking here, where the little change is highlighted. Sorry, my computer does this. And scrolling down to delete. And left clicking here. That's it's gone. Now go up to ESD. There's big bucks and little bucks. Now if I wanted to delete both folders, all I have to do is go up here, hold down the hold down the um left button on your mouse, move up here where both these whereas both these things are highlighted, right click on either one of these, scroll down to delete. 
left click, and boom, they're both gone. That is how you create and remove a file directory tree. The simplest thing to do if you want to put, you know, files, any kind of files in there, any kind of files that you need to. As you can see here to the left, these are the list of the main files that are in um, my local disk. As you can see, this little arrow here indicates that there are subfolders within this AMD folder. Now, I'll left click here to show you what they are. You see, Catalyst Mobility 64 bit util support. I look up subfolders, and there's an arrow right here at support. And you can see all these numbers here, which is indicates that these are, these are subfolders, and these subfolders have subfolders, which is odd. Uh, there's, there's a lot of subfolders within this folder and whatnot. But what are you going to do, right? And it's pretty much a simple operation once you get the hang of it. To be honest, I like Windows. And I think you should too. If you have any questions, email me at spaceoddity78 at gmail.com. And I thank you for listening. Good night. And Godspeed.